Hey guys, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Batman Arkham Asylum for the PlayStation 3. In the last episode, we went and rescued Cash again. Now we are actually going to continue our hunt for Dr. Young. But first, Riddler. There's your penguin reference. Actually, I think it's one of two uh, riddles that are related to penguin in this game. We're not going to be seeing the other one. It's in intensive treatment. So we're either not going to be seeing it until we revisit intensive treatment or until... Uh, the cleanup. I'm not sure which one we'll get to first. Let's just align that up. There we go. And then we have a brickable wall just behind us. So let's whip out the explosive gel. Have absolutely no issue with the explosion or... New brick, metal and paint covered old wounds. Fresh blood was injected into the body. Bright new minds came and all swore to uphold our promises. We all knew we were the ones to fix this city. And the city would thank us. Whatever. We pay no mind to the explosion or the debris that clearly hits Batman in the face every time we break one of these walls. And Harley Quinn has something like this as well in Arkham, in Arkham Knight. It's weird. Oh, this one's really high up. And don't worry, the guard will never notice. He's got a gun, mind you, but uh, the guard will never notice. The uh, the math, the uh, the great big slab of metal that well not a slab, the grate of metal that falls to the ground really loudly. But no, apparently these grates are silent. It's like they're not even there at all. When mooks are carrying guns, sometimes they drop the gun, other times they don't. It's weird. Now, when there's single ones like this, they're pretty much guaranteed to drop it. I mean, they never drop their guns in stealth sections. I don't, I don't understand how that works, but that is how it works. Yeah, so clearly they are looking for Dr. Young's notes. Let's put a stop to that. Oh, you're going to be hearing that a lot. Just, who's here? But they say that a lot. They either say that or they say, It's the bat! Well, my favourite one, I think, is, I don't think it's until Arkham City. I don't know why, it's just the way he says it. But it's the freaking bat! It's weird that how pretty much every single mook in this game has the exact same voice. I mean, why not? A lot of them have the exact same appearance. Yeah, it's surprising how long it actually takes until you can, until they they can block you again. The knife wielding mooks, because you're supposed to cape stun them, and it's like it takes a very long time for them to get into that position. Like that guy was clearly standing up, and that was perfectly fine. All right, access denied that way because Joker has got the magic button, and I'm not kidding. He has got a button that does literally everything, as we will see multiple times throughout this game. Now, I think there's two ways in. You can either use one of the ventilation shafts down there to get up. Or you can do what I'm doing, which I always do. As such, I don't really know what the legitimate way is. Where I just sequence break my way up and use my grappling hook. Because there's another vent just up here. I'm not sure if it's another way down to the doctors or what. And then that will activate some sort of time limit. I really don't know. And that's why Joker is saying this line here. So if, since I since I technically did a sequence break, and again I don't know how you do the regular way. I always done it this way. Uh, you can sequence break. You can give yourself a bit more time. I think you are under a time limit here. Like he says, you have two minutes. You can't see the timer, but there is like a ticking sound effect playing, and the music is uh, picking up a bit. But especially now that you've done the uh, now that I've done the sequence break, I have plenty of time to do this. Just kick this grate off and then drop the chandelier. Because lucky for us, the doctors are just out of the way and the glass won't at all hurt them. Like that, they're perfectly fine. 
None of them have got hit in the head. <laughs> do I take it out or do I leave it in? Do I take it out or do I leave it in? <laughs> I even have plenty of time to go after my Ritter trophies. My chair only grabbed one. The other one I didn't grab until afterwards, but still. So you are under a time limit. However, it's not what you think. So if we activate this. And that's all it is. But since we technically don't know that, if we run out of time, Thank you, Batman. it will count as a death. Yeah. So I think I did actually... I think the very first playthrough I might have done this in a legitimate way. That was quite a while ago and I don't remember a single thing about it. It's almost like they didn't want to animate the Doctor's lips, but at the same time you can still see his mouth movements. An interesting touch, which is odd in a game that has such awful facial animations. Right, and this is where I got lost. So Dr. Young's notes are just to our right. Unfortunately, I skipped a section that I should have gone to when I rescued Cash. And so after I'm done circling this, uh, I was waiting here for a good 10 or 20 minutes, something like that. I'm not going to show all that off. I'm just showing, them, showing where the other uh, Joker teeth are. And there's one more Ridder trophy that I go after. Then we can make our way back to top. Then we can make our way to Doctor Young's office. So there's two Joker teeth in there, and there's one riddle in a grate somewhere. There it is. Don't understand what happens here because I'm not standing on anything at the moment. And now I fall. <laughs> what happened there? What was I standing on? Really? What was I standing on? Batman can't hover in midair. You think it is Superman? That's ridiculous. I hope Rocksteady gives us a good Superman game. I don't know what that would be like, but it would be nice to have a good Superman game that isn't. Well, I don't... have we had any good Superman games? I don't know any. The only Superman game I know is Superman 64. We all know how that turned out. So, yeah, back in the room where Amadeus Arkham cell was, there was a great. On the wall, that takes you up here. So if you can grab the Spindler Trophy. So and I go in here. What? I'll say. <laughs> yeah, I found it at last. What the move somehow interrupted Riddler. It's, how does Riddler know? We got ourselves an upgrade. So let's get the Batarang power. So now any moves that I hit with the Batarang you can be the one will stay down for longer. Well, that means much because I don't use them that much. It's so odd though how they took out the uh, triple batarangs for Arkham City. Like you have you have quick fire batarangs, you can rapidly fire three of them, but I don't think you actually get triple batarangs. Origins does, and even Knight does. Joker's but thugs were they are uh, they're not in City as far as I as far as I remember. I've never been able to find them. But you can't aim the quick fire batarangs. Raish Raz Al Ghul. Whichever it is. In this series, it's Raish. In Christopher Nolan films, it's Raz. I don't know what the correct one is. I think there was some sort of Batman media, probably a cartoon or something, that actually did make poke fun of that. But I don't know what, what, what one that was. Anytime I'm looking down underneath like that, I'm looking for the rat catcher riddler, riddle, but I can never remember which building that's in. Even though I should, even though it should be appearing on the screen in big green text whenever it shows up, because it's the only riddle you ever come across inside one of these vents. Like right, riddle trophies, yes, but in terms of riddles, it's the only one. Someone has already got to the safe. The only question now is, who opened it? No sign of forced entry. Whoever opened it knew the combination. Let's see. Good. Dr. Young got to her notes before Joker. She's taken them to hide somewhere. I need to follow her and find out where she put them. Gotta love it when characters talk to themselves so that they can inform the player. About what to do. Hey, black mask. You're beginning to impress me, Batman. You may still 
Yeah. Right, so another trail we need to follow. Except I already went there and now I'm backtracking. These scans are safe. Once it stops being picky, we can pick up Dr. Young's foot um, fingerprints. Footprints, yeah. With her shoes and everything. Oracle, I'm on Dr. Young's trail. I've had to calibrate the scanner to only show recent prints. If I follow these, I will find her or the notes. I hope it works. Just so you know, the GCPD found one of Joker's bombs downtown. It was full of marzipan and kittens. As I thought, it's just a twisted diversion. The real action's on Arkham. But are the kittens okay? That's what's important. Are the kittens okay, Oracle? Those cute, adorable little kittens. Are they enjoying the Mars attack? Anyway, moves! They like throwing the knife moves around a lot now. You have got to be careful when you do that ground takedown because the enemies uh, can still attack you. And I find it difficult to to uh, counter the, to get the timing to counter them in this game. It's easier in the later ones, but here, I guess because everything is a bit slower, uh, it's more difficult to do. Alright, so after I made a transition right into the very following piece of footage, because I'm terrible at editing, <laughs> Can actually cut back here and grab Dr. Young's notes. Which is just over here. Oracle, I found Dr. Young's formula. Great. So does that mean you've stopped Joker? It's never this simple with him. What's that you got there? You have to listen to Joker saying that anyway, but unbelievably, I'm lost again. All I have to do is just go back the way I came. Which eventually, I get the idea to do. Once Batman actually reacts to the vent. Let's head to the right door, which is just over there. Come on, climb. The prompt is there. The grapple can be a bit finicky in this part. Alright, back through the door. This door has got a funny effect and now Batman is developing a bad cough again. What's going on? Well, we'll find out next time in Batman Arkham Asylum and it will, it will go better from here, I swear. <laughs>